Inmar is a terrific company. We help consumers get better deals at the store and we make sure that the product that they see on the shelf is safe. Inmar provides networks to make consumers' transactions easier. So whether it's a transaction of returning a good, whether it's a transaction of presenting a coupon, whether it's a transaction of pharmaceutical return from the store back to the manufacturer, Inmar is powering the networks and providing the technology to make that easier. Every time you go to the register and you present a digital or paper coupon, Inmar systems are behind the scenes. The partnership with the private equity partners has brought several benefits. Not only the support, but also they bring accountability. They really understand our business, they get it, they want us to succeed, and they've invested in our, our innovation efforts and technology and just to take us places that, that we never thought we would go, you know, four or five years ago. New Mountain Capital has also given us the opportunity to have some introductions through the industry with both our customers as well as our prospects. This allows us to penetrate at a higher level within senior management, but also they bring accountability, which drives us to continue to do our very best. But I will tell you, even with the talent that we have at Inmar, sometimes we reach complex problems or challenges where we need another perspective. We need another set of eyes on a problem. I can pick up the phone and talk to New Mountain Capital. I can almost instantly gain access to that intellectual expertise, that intellectual capital that helps make our business run better. One of the things we're proud of is we've increased the spending on capital expenditure and research and development by over two and a half times since we bought the company. And notwithstanding the fact that we're doing that, we've grown the revenue to record levels and, and, and increased profitability. So I think there's a perception that when private equity folks go in that you cut the costs and you cut capital. The fact is we've been growing the revenues, we've been growing the people, and we've been growing the capital expenditures. You know, recently we had the governor out to visit uh, uh, us for our 32nd birthday and our annual town hall meeting. Over the next five years, this company plans to create 212 more new jobs and then invest more than 24 million more dollars in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. Since 2006, we've added 859 jobs, a 24% growth. We want to be growing jobs because we want to be investing in the business and creating new opportunities for people.